Hey, Evan from Midway Nissan here, this time doing a quick walk around of a 2023 Nissan Versa SR. Starting from the front of the 2023 Nissan Versa, brand new for the 23 model year, you'll notice the front end has been redesigned. You have a much wider grille, slightly different headlights, and you do have a little bit of aesthetic changes throughout the interior as well, as well as a few new features. The SR badge on the front is new for this model year, along with many of our other vehicles. You do have the updated key fob, and you'll notice this is actually a really close counterpart to the Nissan Kicks. So in the case you were interested in the Kicks, but you prefer a sedan body style, the Versa is actually a fantastic option and almost identical. This in the SR package comes with the LED headlights as well as daytime running lights and high beams, fog lights as well. The vehicle does come with the black wheels in this SR trim, just like you see here. Very similar to the black styled wheels you have in a lot of our other vehicles. And you do have the black mirror caps with LED turn signal indicators built in. This is the same 1.6 liter engine as well as the same CVT transmission you find in the Nissan Kicks. And like I mentioned, it's very much just a sedan version of the vehicle. Safety systems, like many of our other vehicles, does have the parking sensors built into the rear in addition to your backup camera. This one in the SR trim, being the sportier of them, does have the spoiler on the trunk as well as the rear diffuser style down below. If you pop open the trunk, even though this is a really small sedan, you do have loads of space back here. Like many of the other Versa models, it is a really tall trunk. So in the case that uh, you were looking for something that has the space for anything you need in the back, this is actually gonna be a great option. The rear seats do fold down in the case you needed to use any extra space more than you have in the vehicle already. And then coming around to the other side of the vehicle into the rear, these SR trim levels do have, like the kicks, the orange contrast stitching, power windows, door locks, of course. It only has one USB port in the back, which is a type C. And then back here, you'll notice the pattern seat trim. So you do have the red accents all along the seat, as well as the orange stitching on the headrest. The vehicle does have a nice pattern inlay for the seat bottoms, and it is one bench all the way across fixed headrests in the back of the Versa and in the case you wanted to lower these seats to get more access to the trunk you lift up this tab and then they do fold down. Built into the front door handles like the kicks and many of our other vehicles, buttons to lock and unlock with key proximity. Coming alongside the interior, power windows, door locks and mirrors and then built into the side mirror there I'll show you, you do have a blind spot monitor so it is in the mirror on this vehicle as opposed to the kicks where it's on the interior. But coming on the inside, this, if you saw the kicks video, will be very, very familiar. So I'll just push the start button here and do a full start of the vehicle. You do, just like the kicks, have the full left side of the gauge cluster as your configurable screen. You can have the tachometer there, or if you'd prefer, prefer to see the music you're listening to, your fuel economy, digital speed readout with the music down below. It's all really easy to access. A Little bit of extra storage in here. And you do, of course, have your fuel release as well as your hood release down below. This vehicle does come with normal cruise control, not adaptive, but you do have the automatic headlights with automatic high beams and fog lights like you see here. Vehicle, of course, does have your controls for your operating volume for the stereo, track, previous, and next, and all these buttons to set the screen on the left side of the gauge cluster. 8-inch touchscreen, which is new for the 23 model year, along with the wireless phone charger down below, which is key charging. The vehicle does have a type c and type a port up front next to the 12 volt heated front seats in this vehicle the only thing you are missing is a heated steering wheel however for the price point this vehicle occupies as it is right now just shy of twenty three thousand dollars at the msrp it is a fantastic value automatic transmission of course and you do now have the little center console here with an additional usb port Two cup holders here, bottle holders built into all the doors, and there is no folding armrest for the very rear of the vehicle. You'll notice for the glove box, it is very deep. You fit all the owner's manuals, your wheel lock key, and then you have on this dash the Primatex leatherette with the orange contrast stitching. Vehicle is really simple, great fuel economy. You combine to about uh, the equivalent of 42 miles per gallon in this vehicle which is very, very similar to the kicks. A little bit better, actually, because of the body style difference. And in this interior, you have, just like on the back seats, the contrast stitching and the inserts up front with a nice little pattern up front on both of these seats with the line you have there. I'll go into the engine bay. You can take a look at that. Like I mentioned, it is the 1.6 liter engine. So this engine makes about 120 horsepower, about 114 pound-feet of torque, approximately. Definitely not a quick vehicle, but the Versa is never designed to be a quick vehicle. It's designed to be as economical as possible. This one was just detailed and rust proof for a customer to pick up. 
So you can see that on the top of the strut towers, some rad support. Vehicle again, 1.6 liter engine, nice quiet heavy engine. Um, and you do have all the standard fare that you'd expect from the kicks. Really small hood in these vehicles, they are really lightweight. And these updates for 2023 with the front bumper, the bigger touchscreen, the center console, the type C USB ports, the wireless phone charger, do make them a really, really nice option to consider. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section down below. You will see the brochure for this 2023 Nissan Versa for the Canadian market down in the description of the video. And until the next one, I look forward to seeing you then.